So this is a real card. It is the One Ring, which is a very strong card. But it has different artwork, and it's a one of one, which if you are a sports collector, you know what that means. Again, there will only be one copy of this card. Once it is pulled, there's no more. So somebody somewhere will pull this card, assuming they know anything about magic. And the crazy part is maybe somebody pulls a card that's a Lord of the Ring fan, and they don't really understand serial numbers or any of that stuff, and they play it without a sleeve. And then one day, you know, somebody says, wait, do you know what you have? This is insanity, but at the same time, this is probably a a card. It is definitely a card more rare than any Black Lotus in any condition. And it is a card that has massive appeal to Lord of the Ring fans as well. You know, collectible items be damned. This is a licensed product. So it is a official product in the lore. And it's the One Ring in Elvin. I'm a... I... Is it Elvin or Dorvin? I forget. It's been a while since I read Lord of the Rings. Let's see. So the Rings of Power were the five elf ring. So I don't know. So this is the one ring to control the other ones. Not sure. Is it in Elvin language? Did the elves make it or the doors? Anyway. It is going to be bonkers crazy because there could be a box somewhere that no one has ever opened and they just kept you know with the sealed market of course and this never gets pulled we never see this ever again because the box has never been opened i just find it you know crazy it, it just blows my mind that they made a one of one of the best card in their set and there's only one i mean this card is probably conservatively a hundred thousand to the right fan, maybe a million. My understanding is this is the first one on one, and when anytime you have a first type of product, um, it will be very expensive, and people pay millions of dollars for artwork. This is, in my opinion, no different because the artwork is a one of one artwork. I believe this artwork will never be used again. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. This is bonkers insane. A one of one. So they've done it. They've done it. Um, I imagine to get pulled on YouTube. And there's no way to fake it because there's only one of them. So it's not like you can pretend that you pulled a Moon Brion because you bought one. Uh, nah, this is the real deal. Uh, this is the real deal. It is a one of one. There are no other copies out there. Serial numbered one. It may very well be the most expensive card ever printed because the comp on it is whatever somebody's willing to pay for it. Like, it could be outrageously high. So if you know sports cards, you know one-on-ones get crazy, crazy values to them because there's no other comp. There's no other version of the card, so you can't really look at the price comparison, right? So for a more common card, like more common <laughs> like a black lotus you can look at the what prices you can look at what the prices sold last week among there's many different comps on a black lotus unlimited beta or even alpha there are no comps in this because it's a single card anyway let me know what you guys think this card will go for in the comments below it is definitely the most expensive card in magic i have a gut feeling that this card will be outrageously expensive if ever pulled it's the rarest card in magic too there's only one of it huh and also leave me a comment if you like this current direction of magic the gathering bye guys